And now there's Nazis again. <laughs> when I was a kid, Nazis was just an analogy you would use to decimate your child during an argument at the dinner table. <laughs> now there's new Nazis. I don't care for these new Nazis, and you may quote me on that. These new Nazis. Oh, Jews are the worst, and Jews ruin everything, and Jews try to take over your life. It's like, you know what, motherfucker? My wife is Jewish. I know all that. How do you know all that? <laughs> I'm allowed to make fun of my wife. I asked her, and she said yes. I've been married for about three and a half years now, and I was going out on tour, and, uh, oh, thank you very much. And uh, I love and respect my wife very much. So I said to her, hey, we've been married for three and a half years, and she knew that. <laughs> I said, do you mind if I still make fun of you on stage? And my wife said, um, she goes, yeah, you can make fun of me. You can make fun of me, but just don't say that I'm a bitch and that you don't like me. I was like, whoa, the bar is so much lower than I ever imagined. That's it? <laughs> also, I wouldn't say that. What kind of show would that even be? Hello! My wife is a bitch! <laughs> and I don't like her! That's like a support group for men in crisis with keynote speakers John Voigt and Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Also, I would never say that, not even as a joke, that my wife is a bitch and I don't like her. That is not true. My wife is a bitch and I like her so much. She is a dynamite five-foot Jewish bitch and she's the best. She and I have totally different styles. When my wife walks down the street, she does not give a shit what anyone thinks of her in any situation. She's my hero. When I walk down the street, I need everybody all day long to like me so much. It's exhausting. My wife said that walking around with me is like walking around with someone who's running for mayor of nothing. <laughs> My wife and I went to Best Buy to get a TV. We didn't end up getting the TV. I was afraid that the Best Buy guy was gonna be mad at me. So I bought an HDMI cable. And I go up to the register with Anna. My wife's name's Anna. She's standing next to me. I hand the guy the HDMI cable. He takes it, he scans it, and he says, do you have a Best Buy rewards card? And I said, no, I wish. <laughs> and then my wife said, Jesus Christ, <laughs> and fully walked away from me. Walked all the way over to the laser printers and just stood there Blair Witch style and I'm still up at the register, like. <laughs> and the guy, the guy goes, do you want a Best Buy rewards card? And I said, no. <laughs> Even though I had just said it was my greatest wish in life. I was hoping he believed me that it was secretly my great wish, but that I'm in an abusive marriage with little Miss Jesus Christ over here, so I can't ask for the things I want in public, but at home at night we argue about it, and I'm like, you'll see, one day I'm gonna leave you, and I'm gonna get that Best Buy rewards card. She's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're never gonna get that Best Buy rewards card. My wife is Jewish, as I said. I was raised Catholic. We have differences in our religious upbringings, and we realized this recently. Not with our kids, because we don't have any kids. People always ask us, are you going to have kids? And we say no. And then they go, never. You're never going to have kids? Look, I don't know never. 14 years ago, I smoked cocaine the night before my college graduation. Now I'm afraid to get a flu shot. People change. <laughs> <laughs>